home for 24 hours, that an unregistered wizard set magical beasts loose in New York? Yes. Where is this man? So, you're the guy with the case full of monsters, huh? Use travels fast. Hi there. Hi, Mariska from Tribute. Nice to meet you. You have both been part of the franchise for so long, the Harry Potter franchise. What was it like being a part of now the Fantastic Beasts? What made you go back to the world of... Um, you start? Primarily the script. J.K. Rowling wrote this marvelous script, and it's uh, whimsical and fun and dramatic. That was the first thing. Second thing was coming back to work with people like this. You know, there's something wonderful about working with the people that you'd worked with before who you really adore. And thirdly, for me, I directed four Potter movies, but I came to the Potter movies late. You know, the party had already started, so I got invited to the party. And for me, this was an opportunity to invite people to the party, so I could start the world from scratch, and that was very exciting. But probably most importantly, got to work with Joe Rowling on the screenplay, and that was a really interesting and rewarding experience. You know, we weren't adapting her books, she was actually writing the thing that we were shooting. And for all of us, that was great fun. Well, you know, I've been involved with uh, this world since 1997. Um, and when we finished the films in 2011, it was with mixed feelings. You know, I mean, excited about the opportunity to, to, to take on new challenges and make and tell new stories. But at the same time, you know, I, I, we were a family and we'd gone our separate, we were going our separate ways. I know when I met my, I, I, personally and professionally, I grew up on Potter. You know, I know when I met my, what film I met my wife on, when we got married, when we had a child. And um, so when, when, you know, it, it never really left me. So when the, we were thinking about ways of returning to it, and when this came up, how could one not leap? It's the most glorious world to inhabit. You make big entertainments that are accessible and also resonate. They're not just froth, they're not product. We put ourselves in them, and they are about each and every one of us. And I think that is, it's a privilege to be a part of a world like this. What makes Eddie the best person to play the role? What did he bring to the table that made him the best person to play Newt's commander? He's quintessentially British. He's got a boyish charm. And we were asking him to play a character who's really naughty and a bit awkward. So he could do that with real authenticity, but with a warmth, which is a, a sort of difficult balancing act to do. And I love Eddie's work because it has so much humanity. You know, every time you put a camera on Eddie Redmayne, you see this soul and it moves you. I, it moves me anyway. So um, that's why we wanted Eddie to be in the movie. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank Wishing you. you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.